good morning and welcome to Craft with Bella Jane. My name's Lynn and this morning we're going to work on the So Darn Twisted hashtag bingo challenge for this week. This week being the uh, 21st of April. And this week I got belly band again. I had belly band last week. <laughs> um, it's all very random, isn't it? You know, it's fine. I I'm happy to do belly band again. It's not a problem. I got bow, button and beads, gems. So um, I've got uh, some um, cord here to make a bow. I've got a bit of lace there. I've got some buttons. I've got some um, gems there. I've got some gems here. And I've got these gems which I thought might go quite nicely with this project because they're a nice blue colour. Um, don't know whether they'll whether they could go on top of one of the buttons. That's quite a nice effect, isn't it? Or on there. Oh, quite like that actually. Yeah, that'd be quite nice. Yeah, so um well, we'll see what happens when we come nearer to the end. So the, um, I'll leave those in there. I'll put these to one side. I'm going to sneeze now. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I've got these numbers, which I thought were very bingo orientated. None of them are my numbers, but, you know, might use that. Um, I'm using um, the uh, second week of the Lion Dot Arrow freebies. Um, this one is for paper clips, but I'm going to use this sheet. I've printed it on 200 gram GSM, so um, I think it'll be fine. And I've got some, uh, this is watercolour paper, which I've tea dyed. And I'm going to use that. So what I'm going to do <laughs> is this week I'm going to measure to make sure I have a piece that's big enough for a journal. So I'm not going to fold that. It's got something on it printed on it. So obviously I'm going to have to cut this down. Um, and this is the most important bit I'm going to have to cut down because um, this will be bigger than this. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to take off. Um, I'm going to take off about half an inch. Well, it's not half an inch. I'm going to make like a quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch at each end. And then I'm going to take that off. And um, I don't want it that way up because that's a bigger. Yeah, maybe I'll want it that way up because I'll get more paper out of it because it's like a little paper pad that I'm making. So we'll cut, we'll do it that way round. Might still be, it just might still be too long. Um, Yeah, so this is a belly band that I'm going to keep that because that'll be great for something. Um, this is a belly band made by um, Julie at Camellia Crafts. So this is her inspiration. And um, I don't know where, I honestly don't remember where she said it came from, um, where she got her inspiration from. Um, so about two and a half inches. So this isn't a problem, this bit, because that can be folded in at the end. Um, but we've got to decide where we want this. Now, this work would work out perfect, except for the fact that we need a, um, a hinge. So this is why we have to have it this way up. So we don't want either of the girls on it really because they um, are directional. The pattern with the flowers is fine, um, but the girls we can't have on. So we'll get the scoreboard out for this bit and we'll make it, I 
think um see i missed the beginning so i'm not sure what she said something like the original i watched the big one she did at the end so something like two and a half inches i think she did so we'll move it across slightly so we've completely missed that girl it's two and a half inches i think we'll do three inch oh, and three inches we get the girl there and we get half of her face so that's no good two and three quarter inches maybe there and we cut down into the girl's face again but Let's try that two and three quarter inches. I forgot to turn it around now, haven't we? We always forget that one. Oh, I'm doing it the wrong way round. I mean, I've got to cut this, but this is too too short because I need a half an inch. I mean, I could make it work. Let's cut it and see what it looks like. Right, so make it two and a half inches. Um, might as well keep that girl because I can use her for something else. Two and three quarter inches. Right. There. There. So I could use that piece as my top. And then got to have blue because two and three quarter inches again three inches I need a quarter of an inch of this oh yeah yeah so that would be that that would be it oh my set this is too long now don't want to cut it again we want this to be um a score oh my word right so we've got to score this quarter of an inch we're going to score it because we really can't afford to score it half an inch we just haven't got enough room so we'll score it we'll score it three quarters of an inch no we'll score it that's half an inch. What's that there? One, two, three. That's three quarters of an inch. Oh, that's three eighths of an inch. Right, we'll cut it three eighths. 
We'll, fill, we'll score it at three eighths. There we are, that'll have to do. So that's that. So that goes there. And that, I'm not keen on that bar there, but we don't have much choice really. And then that goes there. And then this, we do a bit bigger. We'll cut this, we'll score this at, look at that gap there. We'll score this at, yeah, about the end of that mark there. We'll score this at three quarters of an inch. Okay, right, that's going there, that's going there. Okay, the things we do. The things we do for love. Right, that's it now. That's all right. I'm happy enough with that. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to work. Don't fold that. I've got a habit of folding papers. Right, so this now has to be the same width as this. So I'm going to score it to make life easier. this being watercolour paper it's not too bad so this is six and it's six and three quarters isn't it of course it is because that's what we measured six and three quarters again uh, not six and three quarters two and three quarters so I'm gonna go there and then that is less but that's okay it's just going to be um it's okay and then that can go in like that and that can go out like that and then that goes on top there i might put some washi on here just to extend that bit and it's only going to stick to this bit there like that I might be able to trim that actually that's not too bad at all that's not too bad at all I can trim that off actually that bar that I don't like it does make the top a bit shorter but anything's better than that brown bar which I don't like so that's that like that and that like that that's enough we don't need to trim any more off what we do need to do is now is to um, round the corners. That's good. I like that. I like it. So it's a belly band with. Oh, it's a butterfly on the floor down there. It's a belly band with a. Um, yeah, once you open it like this, then you've got a writing secret writing spot inside. That. Okay. Right, so let's cut the corners of this. Round the corners, I should say. And round the corners of this. That's that and that, like that. That's nice. So that just needs inking. And then it needs an eyelet. So we'll put a couple of copper ones. Right, and then what you do is you join these together like this. So I need to do something with the back of this because it's white, but we'll decide on that in a minute. So you put those together like that, and then you can decide where the middle is. I would say it's about there. It's about the middle, isn't it? So we'll just what 
television on down there and I think it's Paul O'Grady on the telly. Sounds like him. What a shame, Paul, Paul O'Grady. Doesn't look central now. That looks more central. There. I'm going to back this. Oh god, I've got that. I might have to back it. That's on there. Sip. Mm. And the only thing I'm thinking is I'm going to have a full piece at the back, so I'm going to take this off. One of those off. I'm going to take that off. And then I could put a piece of that on. No, I can't. Well, I could, as long as I don't put the eyelet head trim in until the end. So I might put a piece of that in there. So this is how we this is how we do it. Bodgy crafting. There we are. And then we can put that there, like that. And scissors. Scissors. I've been doing upholstery this morning. Talk about a variety of crafts you do. I've got a new camper van. I mean, it's not a new camper van. It's an old camper van, but it's new to me. And um, I just needed to change something with one of the um, bench parts of the seat. And so I've been doing that this morning, which is quite exciting. Stapling on the fabric. It's just the same fabric. There's nothing wrong with the fabric. Um, but uh, yeah, I've done that. Cut it down to uh, help with the bed situation because it wasn't working as I wanted it. So it's great. And it's running now. Oh my word, it's running. Because it's had a new engine. So it's all very exciting. Um, I don't know where my blue book is. Oh, here it is. Oh, here's my blue book. So let's glue this on now. Which way is it going? It's going that way. So it wants gluing on here. Just glue stick for this because it's it's just um, paper. Oops, where are you off to? So that's going on there like that. problem if I'd have um see actually that's coming up I was thinking that was like a pocket but it's not so that's gonna show isn't it all of that but I can always put something like um you know I could always put a piece there or something just a small strip and just decorate it with that couldn't I like that in fact, we'll do that now and then it's done. Just get on with it. That's the best thing. I've got other things to do. It's Sunday morning. I've been sewing as well. Made some bunting for my camper van. And I'm doing it out in turquoise. Because it's a tur oops, I've got a big lump of glue to come off that. Because it's a turquoise camper van, I'm making it into oh of course I need to cover that as well, don't I? 
Oh no, that's been glued down. That's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, I'm doing everything in turquoise. So because I've seen an orange one, and that was an old um, split screen old VW, but um, mine's um, Mercedes. Um, so as I've covered that, I suppose I better cover this, haven't I? And I've just got this piece left over. So we'll just cut that down. I need to wipe my hands more gluey. Yes, yeah, so it's this colour. It's that colour, my camper van. So I'm going to um, do everything inside in turquoise. So I've got... Um, I'm getting sort of blinds, but um, I need that. Yeah, I'm getting blinds, but um, I've got to have curtains at the front. Um, what am I looking for? This. Um, yeah, so uh, I've made some turquoise curtains at the front. And I have, yeah, that's fine. I'll just ink that part. Um, I've made some turquoise um, bunting. Put some lights up yesterday. I'm doing all this, it hasn't even been for its MOT yet. So, um, you know, you just don't know really, but. My uh, my daughter's partner is a Mercedes engineer, so um, he knows what he's talking about. He's put the new engine in. He's pretty sure it's going to pass its MOT, and um, he reckons it might need a bit of welding underneath. But he reckons it's going to last me a good couple of years. So uh, yeah, it's going to be good. Out next weekend, hopefully. There we are. So it's all very exciting. Yeah. I'm going to carry on crafting a festival. Whenever, July, I think. So, oh, these are so annoying the way they stick inside those bits of paper. Oh, my back. Back now with all this work. There we are, perfect amundo. Right, put that away. Put the lid on the glue. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, put the. Don't want to put that away. I have that. Where's the other one of these? I've lost it. Where has it gone? Oh, there it is. Good. Squeeze that. Perfect. Put that in there. Oh, no. Oh, it's on my foot. How bizarre. There we are. Put that in there. So that and that are done. That's done. That's done. Just need to ink that, but I'm not doing it till it's dry. Right, so these need to fit onto here now. So they're going on to there like that. I'm going to um is that gonna be alright? I'm gonna mess it up at the end, do I? 
What else? So that opens and then these come out. Yeah, that's it. That's fine. So we need, oh, where's the, where is the, hmm, that's funny. Where's that gone? Right, I'll have to use this. How very annoying. I wonder where that's gone. very quiet now because I'm trying to wonder where my glue is. Unless it's fallen on the floor. I just hope it hasn't fallen in the bin because all the bins got emptied yesterday. Mind you, I did go through the bins because I separate out the um I separate out the um the paper from anything else that's that's there. You know like if there's a glue bottle or something. Right, so that's the bottom, and then this is the top. So that's going in there. Now, I think that needs a bit of a trim. It's a bit longer than the other piece. Oh, look, I hope you can see what I'm doing. This video is going to need a bit of trimming, won't this one, isn't it? Right, so it'll be hunt and, hunt and search for the, the glue as soon as this is finished. Can you hear that strimmer out there going wild? Yeah, it needed half an inch. That. It needed a half an inch um, uh, lip, but we didn't have it with cutting the paper. Now this is crooked. Is it crooked or is it just over too far? Have we got any wiggle room? Ooh, barely. That's better. Right, I'll put those on again. I'm going to put a bit of tape over there anyway, so I wouldn't worry too much. And it's a belly band, so you're not going to see this. So, And this isn't going to be under any strain. But that's a bit, is that a bit crooked? Just put a bit of pressure on that. Just to twist it a little bit so that it's all going to be lined up. So that's that, that's that, and then this comes out like that, and that, there. Right, let's do this, because I need a bow, I've got to have a bow on this project. So put that in there out the way, put that away, put that lid on there. And then put the lid on there. Right, so put this through here. And we'll put this through here. See, I don't like these ones that are, um, that don't, you know, that are loose closures that you have to undo because I think they can get lost. But what can we do? There's a bow. We have a bow, 
aren't too big. There we are. Should we make a double bow? Because it's too, this is too, um, I think it's too thin, this. There we are. We have a bow. We have a bow. Okay. Right, we have a bow. So we've done belly band, bow. Now we need a button. So we do a button there. And we've got um, a bead on there. That could be the simplest thing we've ever made, couldn't it, really, if we just did that. Let's put that on there. Just going to offset that slightly. That's better. Um, this button where there there don't even like it that button I've got a piece of um just a bit of lace no don't like that um I've got to have a button, so it's got to go somewhere. It could go there. And then I've got many beads that actually fit onto onto things like this. Onto these big pit, big bits of cord. But I could put that on there. And there, I might use the lighter button because it might go a bit better with these. Let's put it there. I just don't like it. I just don't. It just looks like it's this sort of afterthought just stuck there, doesn't it? But I've got to have a button. I should have done a button closure, shouldn't I? I haven't got to have a button with bead on it. Could have a button there and a button there. Those look all right on there actually. I'm a bit I'm a bit like the rule of three though. I tend to have three of things, but they look all right on there. They are. I like buttons when you've put the thread through them. But I don't think I can put this thread through them. I think it's too big. I can try. Oh yeah, it will go in. Now that'll link it so it doesn't look like an afterthought. So if I put that there and then knot it. Like that. It's not the best knot in the world, is it? I should have done a reef knot, but that's okay. Those off. Now that looks much better because it looks like it's a part of the thing, doesn't it? So we'll do another one. Oh, I forgot I've got that. I could add something like that to it. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to chop a load out of this video. My sort of prevaricating is going to have to go otherwise I thought oh this will be a really quick video and it's 
turned into 40 minutes already. Can't believe it. That's with me messing about. There we are. Yeah, they look all right now, don't they? We don't need that. We don't need these. These can move themselves away. Because they're just distract from everything. That's going to get thrown in there. No, we'll have the dark buttons. Right, so we need this to glue these buttons on. Like that. Leave that to set itself because there we are. How's that done? Oh my word, I don't believe it. It's finished. Right, um, I will um take a photograph of it and show it to you. I'll take a photograph of the um of the finished with it open and with it closed. Okay, so there it is. It is so darn twisted. Hashtag bingo challenge um, for the 20th of April and it's 21 belly band, uh, 8 bow and 11 button and 2 I've got beads and we didn't bother with the gems because it didn't work out. So I really like that. I think it's lovely. Thank you to So Down Twisted for the challenge and thank you to... Uh, Julie at um, Camellia Crafts for the idea and I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.